Hello, welcome to SS Tech Susil this side and this is continuation of SQL Server interview questions and answers. So today we are going to discuss few more interview questions. So here how we can write the query to print the triangle pattern. So what is this question? Let's move to next slide to understand about the question. So here as we can see we have four different images and these images are going to print their stars in triangles. So in the first image we can see this is going to print triangle like this then second then third and then fourth so how we can write the query to print these images like as it is so let's move to sql server management studio where we can write the query and we can get the output so here i am using sql 2017 you may have another version of sql server so first of all i need to declare a variable and that would have to we slide the value with one then we need to use while loop so while if this at the rate i value is less or equals to five this loop will be executed now we can use the begin and 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 between this we need to write the query so this is very simple directly we can write print and here we can use a replicate function so replicate and what we want to replicate we just want to replicate this star value and how many times we want to replicate we want to replicate at the rate i then we need to increase this at the rate i value so at the rate i is equals to at the rate i plus one now we can execute and we can check the output so here we are getting the output as we are expecting so here first second third we are getting values like this but as we can see we are getting two spaces so how we can remove these two spaces for that we can directly use our dream function so space will be removed now we can execute and now we are getting the output without any space now it looks good and we are getting the output as we are expecting move to next image in the next image we just want to print this value so now we have triangle like this 5 4 3 2 and 1 so now we can write the query and we can get the output so here let me comment this and again we need to declare a variable so declare at the rate i and initialize the value with 5 in the while loop we can use this at the rate i if this at the rate i value greater or equals to 1 then this while loop will be executed and we can use begin and and here what we want to do we just want to print and here we can use the replicate function what we want to replicate we want to replicate this star with two blank spaces comma how many times we just want to replicate with i times now we can set the value of this at the rate i variable with at the rate i minus 1 now we can execute and we are getting the output as we are expecting but again we can see we are getting two blank spaces at the right side so what we need to do we can use the r trim function to remove this blank spaces so here now we can execute and we are getting the output without any blank spaces so this is for second now move to third image so in the third image we need to print the values but here as we can see it will be going to start from left side to right side so how we can write the query to print this triangle so move to sql server and here i need to declare two variables this time so at the rate i and it slice the value with 5 and in the second variable that is j and set the value with 5 and here we can use the while loop while this at the rate i value is greater than 0 then this while loop will be executed and here begin then and and here we need to print so what we need to print first of all we need to use replicate function so in replicate function we can see we are getting blank spaces so we just need to put two blank spaces comma how many times we want at the rate j minus at the rate i 
now again we need to use the replicate so replicate and this time we just want to replicate with star now comma how many times we want to replicate we want at the rate i times now we can set at the rate i value will be at the rate i minus 1 now we can execute and we can check the output so we are getting the output as we are expecting so this is image 3 but here again we can see we are having a blank space so how we can remove this blank space so this is very simple we just want to get the values from right side so we can use right and let me copy this whole code and put comma and again we can use the length of this minus 1 now execute and now we are getting the output without any space now looks good and this is ms3 move to last image so this is the last image so how we can write the query and we can print this image so this is again very simple move to sql server and here then again we need to declare two variables let me call the first variable with at the rate i and set the value as one and in the second variable that is at the rate j and that would be five then we need to use the while loop so while if this at the rate i value is less than or equals to five then our loop will be executed so we can use begin then and and inside this begin and we need to print the values so we can use the print and then we can use replicate and what we want to replicate first of all we just want to replicate the blank space so we have two blank spaces now how many times we want so we just want this j times now we can use plus again we need to use a replicate function so replicate and here we just want to replicate our space with star and how many times we want we just want at the rate i times now it looks good and here we can set the value of this i that would be i plus 1 and again we need to set the value for at the rate j and this at the rate j value should be at the rate j minus 1 now execute and we can check the output so here we are getting the output but as we can see we are getting one two blank spaces and three blank space so how we can remove these three blank spaces so for that again we can get the values from right side and let me copy this whole code and put comma we can use the length function and this is the length and now minus three now we can execute now we are getting the output without any blank space if we can check we don't have any blank space right now so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos if you need this script it will be available on the description of this video so you can copy from there thank you so much for watching